The graph shows what happens when a car stops. Use the information on the graph to calculate the deceleration of the car when braking, the thinking distance and the braking distance. OK, look at the graph. It's a speed against time graph. So the part of the graph where the car's braking must be this bit here where the line's sloping down so it's getting slower, it's decelerating. So I know from what we've done previously that acceleration is equal to the change in the velocity or the speed divided by the time taken. So if I look at the graph the change in velocity, well it ends up at zero so it's going to be zero take away the velocity it started at well it started up here at 50 meters per second and that's divided by the time but it's just the time for this bit here where it's actually slowing down so that bit there is 10.8 and that bit there is 1.9 so the time that's breaking for is 10.8 take away 1.9 which is 8.9 seconds so I can use the calculator to work out that that equals minus 5.6 and this is an acceleration so it's meters per second squared OK, the minus sign just means that it's slowing down, not speeding up. Right, so let's go back to the question. So I've done the first bit. I now need to calculate the thinking distance. Well, if I look at the graph, the thinking distance is the bit where the driver is just deciding to stop. So that's this first bit here before he applies the brakes. And this is a velocity time graph, so I know that the distance travelled is equal to the area under the graph. So the thinking distance must be the area of this rectangle. So, thinking distance must equal, well, that's 50 that side of the rectangle on that scale multiplied by well this side here is 1.9 so that equals 95 using my calculator 95 meters So, while he's thinking and deciding to brake at 50 metres per second, the car travels 95 metres. Right, I can use the same strategy to find the braking distance, but this time the area I have to calculate is a triangle. So I know the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. So the braking distance... braking distance um, is a half times the base and we said that the base was from what we did before was 8.9 seconds long times the height of the triangle which is 50 and using the calculator that comes out to be 222.5 meters so what have we done in the question we've used what we know about the properties of velocity time graphs to work out the acceleration which is
the slope of the graph or I've used what I know about acceleration, the change in velocity over time and I've read that off the graph, started at 50, went to zero, so there's the change in velocity and I've worked out the time that that took there so I could calculate the acceleration. I also know that the distance travelled is equal to the area under a velocity time graph and so I've used that to do the last two parts of the question to calculate the thinking distance by working out that area and the braking distance by working out the area of that triangle.